matter where I turn, there's a mess. Welcome to July Favorites. It is August and that is okay that we are this far into August and I'm finally giving you July Favorites. <laughs> Folks, it's my birthday month, so if you are not keen on a Leo person like myself giving you all the Leo energy for the month of August <laughs> for my birthday. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What I am going to bring you though is real time favorites. By that I mean I'm doing some skincare right now showing you some products, my routine that I loved for the month of July. And some of these I Actually, I think a lot of these I received as PR. I don't think there's anything new here. Like I think I've introduced them to you before. Um, this Beekman, this is their milkshake and I just love it. It looks like salad dressing, but it's a wonderful hydrating spray mist for the skin. The mist on this is sublime. It has just a lovely delivery system. I have my Jiv. <laughs> Feels like I'm gonna, the Jiv. Uh, this is my six in one device that does uh, cleansing. It does LED, the red light therapy. It has um, the muscle stimulation. So I like to use, there's two serums I like to use. Well, not necessarily together. I just want to show you that you do not have to use the serum that they sell on their site. It's totally great. It's just, you can use it with a serum you already have. So I love the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Serum. Sorry, this is the Vegan Ceramide Serum. They do have a collagen line, but that's different. So I love the Pacifica products. They are very, you know, they're kind of one of the first clean brands, but I really do think that they walk, talk the walk, walk the talk, because they are really interested in advocacy and sustainability and things that should be going under the entire umbrella of a clean label. So I really like this. It's fragrance free and it doesn't have any kind of ingredients that would upset my skin. And so what you just do is I turn on the, the Jiv, Hold it, hold it, and then press it again so that the red light therapy activates and you just wanna go over. I don't know how strong. Oh, I have it pretty strong. It doesn't hurt though. It doesn't make my feelings ache. I can feel it warm on my skin. It doesn't get hot, it doesn't snap but it just helps my skin become more alive and I feel like it looks lifted and refreshed. I feel like it's kind of a morning yoga routine or Pilates routine that I can do for my skincare. Um, and you know, like anything, you gotta do it regularly for results. Um, oh, see there's the one minute. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a different serum so this is a company called Mezama. I'm probably not pronouncing that properly, but they sent this to me and it is a green rooibos tea, right? So look at this, it's red. You see that? Now this stuff has like, you know, the, the rooibos tea and this is for all kinds of good benefits for the skin, anti-aging, all the things that we are interested in. And it has a, a tea scent to it, but it's not scented. And it's just a very interesting, uh, I love the company. I love like the things that they carry. They have a device like this. They have something else. They have like one of, they have a LED gua sha. Um, so I just wanted to show you this because this serum is actually red light activated. So their claim is that it works better with a red light, or I should say the serum is more effective with a red light. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's just nice. It's really nice. So 
I'm I'm sharing I am sharing the love today. I have a discount code for this and I will link those below. Then I'm going to put my Derm Elect. This is the Redness Relief uh, Cream. This is a Redness Rehab, I should say. It is a cream that has um, the like squalene and sea buckthorn and other ingredients that are so soothing on the skin. It also has a proprietary blend of like a calming ingredient. I shared this previously and I showed you guys how I love that when I put it on my face, I don't have any kind of redness reaction. My skin responds to just touch. So like even when I'm not putting anything on my face and I'm just touching it, it gets kind of flushed. And then this cream, I just feel like my skin is so soothed after I put it on. It hydrates, it helps the skin barrier because rosacea, dermatitis, eczema, any of these kind of problems with our skin can sometimes do, be due to a compromised skin barrier. And so anything you're doing to help strengthen that is so good. So um, I really, really like it. And I have a discount code for them too, but I just, I've incorporated it into my routine along with, you know, everything else that you always see. You wanna fail? Here's a fail for you. You wanna fail? I'll give you a fail. This Rock Multi-Correction Eye Serum Stick, what? $35 at CVS? I could not believe it. It is probably a dupe to the Uli Henriksen. I enjoy a balm stick product for my eye area. I love just being able to kind of apply it and get some benefits from it and I like the sensation of it. But I just feel like for $35 at the drugstore, I don't know if this is something as spectacular that you would really feel like you're getting your money's worth. I don't think it's a bad product. I just don't think that it's something you need or will feel like you get the benefit pennies per results. For something that does a very similar kind of brightening, dark circle reducing effect is the Good Molecules Yerba Mata um, Wake Up Eye Gel. I just think that this is as good and it's $6. And um, there, there may or may not be some different results in terms of the effectiveness of this product, but I'm, I could probably come up with five eye creams that I like better that are either the same price or less. Like you do not have to spend $35 on an eye treatment at the drugstore. I feel like if I walked into Nordstrom and I spent $35 on an eye cream, I would feel very satisfied. But for some reason, this did not satisfy me. So let me know if um, I'm missing something. Uh, yeah. So the okay. next thing I wanted to share with you guys is this Zuvi Halo hair dryer. So this was an Allure winner. I don't know if it was 2022. I got to look. But anyway, they did send me this and I'm pretty excited about it. It has, you know, the kind of the latest technology that we keep seeing from hair dryers and hair, pro, uh, hair tools. Um, this one uses light uh, with its kind of ion air technology. So this is the dryer on its own and it has obviously an on off and then it has four modes and it has what's called a care mode. And the beauty of this hair dryer is that I'll show you what it looks like when it's turned on. So this green light, see that light? Okay, so that, see how it's green? That is, yeah, I'm not gonna talk while that's on. So what that does is that light is helping dry your hair so yes, it uses the airflow, you know, it's blowing your hair like you saw, but it is helping your hair maintain its moisture from the inside out. Oftentimes we hear that hair needs moisture 
Um, and we're always given products that are like, oh, add moisture to your hair. And then honestly, your hair is dead. So really what matters is that the cuticle is soft and flat and um, strong and that your hair is less prone to breakage. And as we age, it feels like our hair is getting more coarse and also we're worried about hair loss. Uh, maybe we have sensitive scalps. So I think what is so cool about this is how, despite it feels warm, so it's like blowing heat, it does not burn your scalp. And if it's not burning your scalp, it's not burning your hair. Um, because, you know, you want to be able to style your hair, dry your hair, and you want to do it efficiently. And the heat is what creates the style and the hold, but then it's like, it also creates the damage. So the idea about this is it's the long, the more you use it, the, the, the longevity of using this product is that you're maintaining healthy hair or you're improving the health of your hair if your hair has been previously damaged. This is the concentrator attachment. And so the way I use it is I turn it on and then I press it to go to style mode. And then hair looks softer, smoother. I feel like my style doesn't look as frizzy. The little flyaways aren't as pronounced and I just really enjoy it. The one thing that I think would make it really cool is if it had a high and a low. Okay, what I'm noticing, so soft is a, a lower speed, I think. Uh, style is probably about the same. Fast and care are actually pretty warm and pretty powerful. So what's weird is when you touch, when you have it on your hand, care is hotter than fast. So I'm definitely confused by it, <laughs> but I, I can, I can pretty much do from wet to style in 10 minutes. Like it's insanely fast. I just thought I'd share that with you. I know these kinds of tools are very expensive. I know that they're so popular and everyone talks about them. Um, so I was really excited to get this and we'll just see how my journey progresses. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things I love about it and there's a lot of things I'm still getting used to, but, um, but they sent it to me and that was very nice of them and I'm very excited to continue to use it. All right. So next will be makeup, etc., And we'll go into that. Okay. We are back now beauty favorites, makeup. So I'm wearing a few, but also I wanted to highlight some, I feel like I used so often, whether it was on my Instagram reels or here on my channel, I might've mentioned them. So let's begin with the e.l.f. liquid putty primer. I was never on the bandwagon, if you will, the, of the regular putty primers. But this one, I really, really enjoy. So I kind of tap it on, like I, like I apply it like regular primer, but then I sort of go over and I just kind of do this, you know? And I don't know if that makes it sticky or if it just kind of helps to seal over the sort of pore divot areas. But I do like the way my makeup looks after I apply this. And so I think it's worth it. I really like it. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing it over my sunscreen. I actually just put it in my T-zone area. I mean, obviously put it everywhere, but I kind of spot apply this. I need to give some love to some blush that just doesn't get enough love, but I am so... They're just so lovely. Okay, so first is from Pacifica Beauty. I actually think I first got this, I bought some when they first came out, they're fluffy blushies, and I wasn't thrilled with it, and I think it's because I just wasn't doing 
them justice with the way I was applying them. So my favorite way to apply this is to just kind of bounce it in there. It's a very fluffy, moussey, velvety blush. It's kind of powdery, but it's cream. And I just think it's so pretty. And I think this shade is Sunset. Yeah, Sunset. It's just a lovely peachy shade. So I am quite the fan. Pure Cosmetics, which definitely doesn't get enough love because every, I feel like every makeup item of Pure Cosmetics I've ever tried is, performs so well. Like it just, it doesn't get kind of the influencer love as much anymore. But I feel like whether it's concealer, um, the powder foundation, I just feel like it's always good. And the blush, this is called Blushing Act, and I have the peach, um, Pretty in Peach. This is so beautiful. Skin Store carries Pure Cosmetics, and I have a discount code. So that's where I got this blush from. And I don't know if you can see, it almost has like a two, you know, it's kind of got the peach and the pink and it's such a pretty coral. It's just beautiful. I love it. The eyeshadow palettes that I am pretty obsessed with are very affordable and might be kind of similar, but I feel like they each serve a purpose and kind of scratch that itch of, oh, I want this shade of taupe versus I want this shade of taupe, or I need this ivory type highlight. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so ColourPop, they have their um, collection that they launched in uh, Target as well as their website. And um, they sent me the whole thing and I did the one, I did the corals. And some of you were like, ooh, cool. And some of you were like, no, too red. But the feels of that collection is so beautiful. And I am wearing these three shades. Actually, I'm probably wearing in some shape or form every shade. Because <laughs> I just started. I might not be wearing the green, but I think I'm wearing like everything else. So, um, And I feel like it's such a pretty... I don't know, when I think of hazel, the shades hazel, this is what I think of. And I have green eyes, but I feel like this falls into my spring type. Yeah, I just, I really like it. It's Bye. very similar to the Wet n Wild, the Always Naked. Now, it doesn't have like the green or the pink, but this, oh, this palette. Love this palette. Look at this. Um, so they have the Coffee Cat palette. I talked about that. And that's a good one. And the funny thing about Coffee Cat is it's got way more sort of burnt, you know, rusts and kind of those, those orangey, beautiful pumpkin-y shades. Whereas this one is very much, you got your browns, your taupes, your oatmeals, your putties, your mushroom, <laughs> whatever, right? Um, but I just, I love them both. And uh, yet this one is definitely more reddish orange. And then this one is more. So if you can't track this one down and you find this, I think you'll be happy. So if you thought this was too red, whatever, right? But just good stuff right around 10 bucks and I, I've, I've just been getting a lot of use out of them. So I did an entire video on a dupe for that Chanel Pink Delight Cocoa Balm that is everywhere popular on like TikTok and stuff because Sophia Ritchie wore it to, on her wedding day. Patti Dubroff is the makeup artist for her and for Margot Robbie. So everything that Margot Robbie did to promote Barbie, um, if she's wearing kind of a pale pinky peachy shade, it's probably that shade. It's beautiful, but it's $45. And I shared a few dupes. If you are interested in any of those kind of balm type, less pigment 
lipstick shades in that color family. I will link that video because I, I love all those choices I gave. <laughs> and there's too many to name here, but I've been wearing them kind of on a constant rotation. Another, another one I've been on constant rotation with is the Rena Beauty Lip Kit. They sent this to me. I got the Heidi Lip Kit and it comes with a liner, a gloss, and a lipstick. And it's from Lisa Renna from Days of Our Lives fame now. Well, actually, I think she stepped away from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. But you know, you've seen her on QVC, you've seen her on Dancing with the Stars. She always talks about the hustle. And I'm like, girl, don't we all? She's come out with a beauty line and I love these lip products. Lisa Renna knows lips, right? Okay, so the liner, I'm wearing the liner which is called Notice Me, and it's a very taupey, taupey nude. No, it's more just like nude nude. Maybe even with a little bit of a, a rust in there. And then what I really enjoy is the Mrs. Hamlin lipstick. Uh, this shade is a beautiful pink peach. Look at that. It's just so pretty. And uh, I think it works so good for me. I like it. Then this lip gloss is in pink champagne and it's a nice lip gloss. So. It's just lovely. And there you are. And I like it. One last thing, the Natasha Denona, the High Glam Concealer is a winner. This is a phenomenal concealer, especially for mature skins. I think that it really does a good job of not only concealing, but not settling, feeling, looking hydrated and bright under the eye area. It's just a very nice formula and it has the doe foot and it just goes on almost, I mean, it is full cover, but it's not thick. It's not kind of, it's not matte and chalky. It just kind of does its thing. And I, I put it on with my BK Beauty concealer brush and it is just so good. It is so, so effective. So I really enjoy it. All right. Well, thank you for hanging out with my July favorites. Um, kind of two parts. Yes, I filmed it two different days, whatever. Actually, look how good my hair looks. <laughs> look how good. This is day three hair. And um, it just, it looks so good. <laughs> you guys. Um, yeah, this is my weekend hair. And uh, I was gonna wash it and then I'm like, why? Why? I will literally just wash it to dry it and curl it to look like this again. So that Zuvi hair dryer, man, it's something because sometimes my hair doesn't look different or feel different right away after I've dried it, but it behaves differently over time. Anything I have with an affiliate link or a discount code will be in the description box. If I get a commission, I am disclosing that now because there are some that I do get a few pennies here and there whenever you make a purchase. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a good August and I hope that wherever you are, it's either not terribly hot or you have AC. <sighs> Help us. Help us, Lord. Oceans are too hot. Anyway, that's another story. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.